Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're experiencing a boot loop on your Fire TV stick, you're not alone. It is happening more and more. And it's not just exclusive to Fire TV sticks. It also happens on Android boxes and computers, phones, tablets. It happens on all electronic devices. So really quickly in today's video, I'll share with you why that happens. And we're gonna share with you how to fix it. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. Let's go. So what in the world is a boot loop? Well, I'll tell you really quickly what it is basically is when your device is starting up, whether it's a Fire Stick or an Android box, it's starting up, it gets right to that logo and then it starts over again. It shuts off and then gets right to that logo during the boot and then shuts off. And it is a continuous loop, hence the boot loop. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to fix it guys because there's only three reasons why you're getting a boot loop. Now, just so you know, boot loops are not exclusive to Fire TV sticks. It happens on Android boxes, computers, all of these. And it's a very simple thing, really. What basically is happening is one of three things. One, there's some sort of a power issue with your device. And it happens more on streaming devices because they have to have constant power. Whereas like your cell phone or your laptop doesn't always have to have constant power because it's got an internal battery to store a charge. So what happens is devices like the Fire TV Stick always have to have some sort of power source. And when that power source is compromised, meaning there's not enough power driven to the Fire TV Stick, whether it's wattage, amperage, whatever the reason that your Fire Stick isn't getting what it needs, it causes, it causes like a boot loop. And that is its way of protecting itself, okay? So that is one reason. The second reason is software. And that could be anything from installing a third party apps that are incompatible with it. Or maybe you have too many apps and your hard drive is full and it creates a boot loop. Software is the number two reason. The third reason is hardware. Now that is something that we'll have to get really into guys and I'll probably refer you to replacing your Fire Stick if hardware is the issue because taking these things apart, replacing components is just not feasible because right now these things are on sale. You can get the newest Fire Stick for like 32 bucks right now on Amazon. Uh, in the US. So um, it's almost worth replacing at that point. But we're going to really focus today on the power reason and the software reason. And we're going to fix it, guys. Power is about 75%, software is about 15%, and then hardware is about 10 So 85% chance this video is going to help you out today. So let's get right into the power. What is going on with your Fire TV stick. So we're specifically gonna talk about Fire TV sticks, but this will apply to any electronic device. What happens again, power. So what I need you to do is I need you to make sure that you unplug your Fire TV stick from power. So just unplug it directly from your stick, the little power outlet. And then I want you to unplug it from your TV. I want you to wait 60 seconds, guys. Just wait 60 seconds. While you're waiting that 60 seconds for your Fire stick to completely shut off and actually reset itself, it's giving it a chance to completely shut down. That's what that 60 seconds is. While that happens, I want you to look at what you have. Do you have an external drive? Do you have an OTG adapter? Do you have uh, an external keyboard or external mouse connected to it? Are you plugged into the authorized plug on your Fire TV stick? Did you try replacing your cord on your Fire TV stick? Are you plugged into your TV USB? I'm asking all these questions because all of those things could cause the wrong amount of power being sent to your Fire TV stick. And guys, 75% chance that that's what it is. So if you unplug everything, wait 60 seconds and just plug the authorized Amazon plug. Don't use like a power strip because if you have a bunch of stuff plugged into a power strip, each of them's taking a little bit of amperage away and your fire stick's not getting enough. And that's why they have those blocks. They're meant to be used, guys, because it'll make sure you have the proper um, amperage. So that's what you need. So I, what I need you to do, use your original block, okay? and your original cord, plug it back in, and then plug it back into your TV. Now it should boot up. There's about a 75% chance that alone will fix your problem. Make sure you don't plug anything else back in. None of those Fire Stick ex like extensions for external hard drives, any of that, because any, any one of those things could be causing that power draw. Um, uh, the most common is when you upgrade the hard drive and the hard drive takes too much power. And that's why I have videos on what's called a mission power cable, because if you're getting a boot loop, that will fix it. Um, and those are on Amazon for, I don't know, 20, 20 bucks or something. And I'll, I'll put links to that in the description, but that just basically is a powered cable. So it just gives you more power to your Fire Stick, eliminating that boot loop. 
So kind of an important thing guys, if you're getting that and you just can't find the right cords or the right plugs, you could always just get that mission power cable and that should fix your problem. So that's the uh, power reason. That's the most common. But if that for some reason did not fix it, you waited 60 seconds, you unplugged everything, you made sure that it was the authorized outlet. You didn't use a power strip with a bunch of plugs plugged in. You actually just went directly into the wall. It's still doing it. Now we're going to talk about software. So let's get into that. Now, software is a more advanced way to fix this problem, but I know you guys can do it. Now, if you're in a position where you're, you tried the power thing and it's just not working and now you're to the point where you're just gonna throw the thing away and you're gonna factory reset it, you can actually get into what's called a recovery mode. And if you've ever had any issues with computers, um, anything past, I think 1990, I wanna say 94, 95, they started doing what's called a recovery mode on computers, electronic devices, to where you could get into a mode on your device to change a few things to fix it. So that's what we're gonna do on the Fire TV stick right now. It's called recovery mode. And this can only be done while your Fire TV stick is unplugged. So again, we're gonna get right back to this, guys. This is a little bit more advanced. This is going to, it's basically gonna reset your Fire TV stick. So if you have anything saved on there that you wanna keep, you might want to not do this. But if you are willing to risk it because you're gonna throw it away anyway, we're gonna do this, guys. Unplug it from your TV, unplug it from power, Again, wait 60 seconds for it to completely shut down. All right, so this thing's completely shut down on your remote, on your Fire TV Stick remote. I want you to do what's called a recovery keystroke, okay? Now, this is done on your remote. Make sure that your Fire TV Stick remote has fresh batteries, you know, all that stuff, because if your remote's dead, you can't do this, okay? So what you're going to do is you are going to get into recovery mode by pressing the right directional pad and the rewind button at the same time, okay? Hold both of those buttons at the same time. And while you're holding both of those buttons, keep them down, just keep holding them. I want you to plug this back into your TV and then power into your Fire TV stick. It might help if you have a second pair of hands because obviously it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you do need to keep holding onto this on your remote while you plug this back and two people obviously would be easier, but this is what's called recovery mode. When you do that, you're going to get this screen right here. So this is the recovery mode you're going to be seeing here. This is where it resets to factory default and it will do it in, and it actually counts down for you and does it. I'm gonna cancel right at the two second mark, guys, because I'm not gonna factory reset this one, but that's what you do. What happens during the boot loop is you could actually do that at any point during the boot, but you have to hit it at the exact right spot because if you don't hit it at the exact right spot, it won't pull that up, guys. During a boot loop, you need to have it down while you plug it in. That's just a little tip. I did another video on boot loops and people were not pressing it down at the right time. You were, they were doing it a little late or a little beginning or they weren't holding it long enough. So literally hold it down, plug it in while you're still holding it until that pops up, it will do a factory reset. That's called recovery mode. It's gonna recover it to factory defaults. It's gonna fix that boot loop, guys, in another, what, 15% of the time. Now, the other 10 is it's toast. It probably got too hot. Fire sticks overheat. It's a fact of the matter. If you don't use those little extensions, I don't have any right here in front of me, but it comes with a little extension that keeps it away from your TV. Some TVs emit a lot of heat, and if it melts components inside of your fire TV stick, you're gonna have problems, guys. So um, a lot of times, what happens is these fire sticks just get hot you run them all the time you don't turn them off you don't turn your tv off they get hot they melt components fail that's just what happens if that happens and it's a hardware failure the only option is to replace your fire tv stick you can contact amazon sometimes amazon even when it's outside of its warranty period will help you out with that and send a replacement they're really good about that now i'm not guaranteeing that they will but i've heard of them doing that for fire tv sticks overheating um, so make sure you check that out as well as a hardware option. But power option first, software reset the second way, and then hardware would be your third and final and unfortunately kind of the end of the road way. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It's a really quick one. I just wanted to share with you how to fix those boot loops on the Fire TV stick. It's not fun. Nobody likes it, but at least I can share with you how to fix it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe this video. I really appreciate it. It helps this channel by doing that, and I can bring more videos just like this to you. Thanks again, everybody. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did do us a favor, just hit that thumbs up right down below this video. Share this video with those that you think would like this as well. And don't forget to subscribe. 
We have tons of videos on this channel just like this, so make sure you check those out as well. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.